Hey guys, Britt Britt here. I have never done an inventory tour, but I've had it requested many, many times. So I wanted to give you guys my very first inventory tour. Right now, I'm running through my Queen's Lantern that I just got not that long ago, and I've been trying to decorate it. It's definitely not done, but I kind of wanted to give you guys like just a little tour. But I'm just running through so you can see everything quickly. It is definitely a work in progress. I have a lot to do still, and there's lots of rooms where I just like close the door because I haven't even began to start decorating them. I'm really into this white and very light pink and I know some people aren't into that but I just like it because it's not like super busy and I don't know it's just more relaxing when I'm grinding. And if you know me or you've ever asked to be my friend on Roblox you know that I'm super boring when I play because all I really do is grind because I'm always just trying to work on aging up my pets. Okay guys let's get into the inventory tour. So I didn't go through the toys or the cars or anything like that, but if you guys would like to see them in a future inventory tour, then let me know. So if you see four of any animal or 16 or close to 16, 16, then know that I'm probably working on a neon or making a mega. I really have so many neons and megas to make, which is why I'm so glad that I came up with the alt account method of getting age up potions. So if you haven't watched my video on how to get unlimited AJET potions, then you should check it out. All right, so let's get into my inventory. So I have four Whoopertingers, four Sadomoles, four Robins, all that I'm trying to make neons. My first Mega is a Mega Mouse, and I actually have another Mega Mouse on another account, like on one of my alt accounts, and I have enough to make another Mega Mouse. The Mega Mouses are really cute. I really love them because so much of them actually changes colors. So like I said, I have a lot of Neons and Megas that I'm trying to make, but I'm not going to tell you all of them. But the first one that we come to that I have so many that I can make Mega is the Ghost. I haven't made it yet, but they look so cute because the whole body changes color. I definitely have enough to make a Mega Dog and a Mega Cat, but I probably will wait till the very end to probably work on those. Also, this is not my whole inventory because I have a lot of alt accounts and they have a lot of pets on them. If you see in my inventory that something starred, that means that it's full grown already. So here's my neon beluga well, and it, I just think the beluga wells are so cute. I also have a neon armadillo, and guys, you have to watch this. It like rolls around and I just love it. So I definitely want to make a mega armadillo. I don't love the orange and the brown, but I definitely think I would love it as a mega. Look at it rolling. It's just so adorable. I also am always collecting ants because I've always wanted a mega ant, but for some reason I always trade the neon ants because I can get pretty good pets for them. But eventually I would really like to make a mega one. Next is my neon rock and I love the pink of the rock and I really want a mega rock. So I just need to collect a couple more of those. I also think that the rocks are so funny as they walk and they like kind of tilt back and forth from side to side. Then I have a neon poodle and I'm working on a mega right now. I'm not very far because I only have one neon poodle, but um, on an alt account, I have um, my alt account is working on making another neon. There definitely aren't many pets that I don't like as neon and I really love the poodle because again, it is so cute. I'm really big into collecting pets that I just like, not necessarily the ones that are like the most popular. I just would rather have pets that I really like instead of um, what everybody else likes. My mega pink cat is in definitely in my top three. I'm not sure if it's my favorite pet, but it's definitely in my top three pets. I've been grinding with this one a lot lately and the friendship level is 42, so you can definitely see my favorite pets by what the friendship level is. I'm working on a neon Gilla monster because I think they look super cool neon and uh, a fennec fox and you can see the mega eggnog dog that's in my inventory, but I actually don't have it anymore because I gave it away to the, to the giveaway winner. I have a neon bat and I'm working on a mega bat because I think they're super cool. The neon bat is perfect to hang out with me during Halloween. 
I've got enough zebras that I can make a mega zebra, and I have all these other pets that I need to make neons like the woolly mammoth. I am definitely working on my polar bear, my neon polar bear right now, but I just haven't quite got there. But oh my gosh, I am in love with the polar bears. Here is my mega leopard shark, and this is actually the second mega leopard shark that I've made. Again, I really like the leopard shark because so much of it glows like different colors. I definitely want to make a mega Indian leopard. If you remember in one of my giveaways, I gave away a neon one. I am in love with the hippo, so I definitely want to make a mega hippo as well. I was working on collecting enough geckos so I could make a mega, but I actually traded and got a mega gecko on one of my other accounts. I love the flaming zebras because they're just so different than the other pets. I have enough capuchin monkeys to actually make a mega, but right now I only have two neons. I have almost enough bunnies to make a mega, and I have enough to make a mega abishan cat. They are actually really cool. I liked... There's the wildfire hawk that you just saw, and I really liked all the stuff that came out with that, like fire update not too long ago. Also, I'm a big fan of the pets that are like just different than all the other pets, just like this slime. I have enough. I have 16 to actually make a mega slime too. I love the puffer fish, and I'm trying to find enough to make a mega puffer fish. I have a peppermint penguin. I'm working on my neon panda. I love the nightmare owl when it came out in the Halloween update. And then I almost have enough magma moose, um, the magma snail, and then the toasty red pandas to make megas of those. My gingerbread mouse is another one of my absolute favorites, probably in the top three or the top five. And I just got done making it not that long ago. And I just, oh my gosh, I am in love with the gingerbread mouse. I have this neon frog, which again is another one of the most awesome ones. I wish I could make mega. Then I was looking at this Elisamosaurus or something like that. It looks so much like the Nessie, but the colors just aren't quite as bright. What do you guys think? The crocodile is another favorite, and I would love to have a Neon or Mega, but right now I just have the crocodile, the normal one. Uh, I finally made my Burning Bunny a Neon, and I love the blue and how it glows. Next, another one of my favorite pets is the caterpillar, and I wish so much that I would have bought enough when they were out that I could have made a mega. I'm working on a neon um, albino bat, and I'm looking for two more volcanic rhinos so I can make a neon of those. Then I have this neon vampire dragon. It's amazing to me how many people try to trade me an offer for this um, vampire dragon when I actually have it out. This is my neon rainbow dragon, and again, this pet is so different than all the other pets, and that's why I love it. Here's my turtle, and guys, this was definitely my dream pet before I actually got it, and I was working so hard to just try to get this turtle. All right, next is the glacier kitsune, and guys, oh my gosh, I want to make a glacier kitsune so bad. That is definitely my dream pet right now. I have two neon glacier kitsunes right now, and then I have two other glacier kitsunes, so I still need six more. I have a neon gargoyle. I opened so many danger eggs so that I could get this gargoyle so I can make a neon one. My mega fluoride ice took me so much time during the Christmas event. I grinded and grinded and grinded because I wanted to be able to buy enough fluoride ices so I could make a mega and I did. I just got done making this neon chameleon. Actually, you saw me making it in one of in my last video. Then I want to show you the candy flash chick. I have enough to make a neon, but I haven't quite made a neon yet, but I just think these are so cute. I love the way they look and I love the way that they walk. Guys, here's my mega glyptodon. Oh my gosh, I love the way this one glows. I love the pink and all the other colors. This one is uncommon and it's actually out of order because this is the one I had equipped before I started recording. Here's my neon salamander. This is my mega blue ringed octopus and I love this one too. This one, I love how it's going from underneath and that's why I have the camera angle kind of weird, but I just, this one's so cool. And last, but definitely, definitely not least because this one is my favorite pet is the Arctic Reindeer. The friendship level on my Arctic Reindeer is at 160, so guys, this is probably the pet that I've had equipped the most. 
All right, well, that about sums up my inventory. Let me know which one of my pets is your favorite in the comments down below. I hope you've enjoyed my inventory tour. Bye, guys. Until next time.